بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم my dear student hope all of you are doing well at home so today I am here for class 7 geography the subject is geography so today we discuss the first chapter which is earth as a planet how our earth act like a planet in this universe so the first topic of this chapter is universe and its component According to the scientists, the creation of universe resulted from the massive explosions about 15 to 20 billion years ago and this is also called the Big Bang Theory. According to the astronomers, Sun is one of the billions of stars of the Milky Way. Like Sun is the main, uh, main component of the galaxy and the eight planets revolves around the Sun. This is called our solar system. Now, planets. The planets which revolves around the Sun gets light from this light and temperature from the Sun. We have eight planets in our uh, Milky Way or a solar system which is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Ura Uranus and Neptune. These all are our eight planets which revolve around the Sun. Here Earth. Earth is the main like uh, one of the planet of the solar system. The solar system is composed of eight planets which revolves around the sun in their respective orbit. The system originated about five billion years ago when a cloud of gases and dust began to spin. So these gaseous material, materials began to cool with the passage of time and appeared in the shape of solar system. Now sun. Sun is a bright star. It is comprised of hydrogen and helium gases. The temperature of its outer surface is about 6000 uh, centigrade. It is a source of temperature and light for all the planets of the uh, solar system. So these, these are called like our Milky Way in which all the systems, all the planets are revolved around the sun. The topic is about the size of the earth. Okay. So next topic is about the size of the earth. If we cut the earth along the equator into two equal half, the distance from one end to the other is about 12.750 kilometers. This is the diameter of the earth. So the diameter of the earth is 12.750 kilometers. Now the circumference is when the earth <coughs> If we move along the equator and take a complete round, the distance is about 40,000 km. This is the circumference of the earth. The area of surface of the earth is about 5-10 million square km. So the area of the surface of the earth is total in 5-10 million square km. Now the movement of the earth is the next topic. The earths take two types of the movement at the same time. One is rotation and the other is revolution. Now what is rotation? The earth moves around its axis is called rotation. The characteristics are the movement is from west to east. हमारे पास दो टाइप के मूवमेंट होते हैं जब अर्थ अपने ऑर्बिट में घूमता है तो फर्स्ट उसको रोटेशन कहा जाता है दूसरे को रेवोल्यूशन कहा जाता है नौ रोटेशन वो है जब वो अपने एक्सेस के अंदर सेम एक उसमें घूमती है मतलब एक चक्कर लगाती है अपने इर्द गिर्द सो द मूवमेंट इज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट ये मूवमेंट होती है वेस्ट से ईस्ट की साइड पे द स्पीड ऑफ दिस मूवमेंट इज अबाउट सेवनटीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आर द अर्थ टेक अ कंप्लीट रोटेशन अराउंड इट एक्सेस इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ये चौबीस घंटे का इसका पूरा का पूरा चक्कर होता है जो अपने एक्सेस में ये घूमती है Days and nights are formed as the result of this movement. So the formation of days and nights are because of the rotation of the earth. Now formation of day and night. 
the earth axis is tilted at an angle of 16 and a half due to this tilt the length of the day and night changes the days are longer in, po in the portion which is uh, tilted toward the sun and the days are shorter in the portion which is tilted away from the sun ab hamare paas change in length kaise aata hai days and night mein hamare paas jab days jo hote hain wo uh, angle uh, matlab 16 and a half, 66 and a half एंगल पे चल जाता है तो हमारे पास लेंथ ऑफ डे एंड नाइट जो है वो आते रहते हैं द डेज आर लॉन्गर इन द पोर्शन विच इज स्टिल टूवर्ड द सन जब हमारे पास दिन उस वक्त तक लंबे होते हैं जब सन जब अर्थ थोड़ा सा सन के करीब हो जाता है और जब सन से दूर हो जाता है तो हमारे पास जो डेज होते हैं वो शॉर्ट होते हैं नाउ कम टू द रेवोल्यूशन द मूवमेंट ऑफ द अर्थ इन इस ऑर्बिट around the sun is called the revolution now the movement of the earth in its orbit orbit kaun sa hai hamare paas jisme hamare paas earth jo hai wo revolve karti hai around the sun so this is called the revolution this movement is anti clockwise wo anti clockwise jo hai sun ke ird gird ghumti rehti hai the speed of this movement it about 10700 km per hour the earth completes a revolution in its orbit in about 365 days and 6 hours hamare paas takriban earth jo hai wo ek saal mein apna rotation revolution jo hai wo complete karti hai suraj ke ird gird next is season season are formed because of the revolution so seasons are formed due to the tilt of the earth axis in summer the days are longer and the nights are shorter and in, in winter the days are shorter and nights are long now the next topic is about about the solar and new lunar eclipse the earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth अर्थ जो है वो सूरज के इर्द गिर्द घूमती रहती है और जो चांद है वो जमीन के इर्द गिर्द घूमता रहता है ड्यूरिंग दिस रेवोल्यूशन इट्स हैपन दैट नाउ द सोलर इक्लेप्स मून कम बिटवीन द सन एंड द अर्थ हमारे पास जो मून है इट रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन एंड इट रिवॉल्व अराउंड द अर्थ एंड द अर्थ रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन बट वेन मून कम बिटवीन द सन एंड द अर्थ सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द solar eclipse and cast its shadow on the earth due to which the sun is not seen completely or partially from the earth so in this um, eclipse हमारे पास जो है मून अर्थ और सन के बीच में आ जाता है और जिसकी वजह से सूरज की रोशनी जमीन पर नहीं पड़ती और फिर हमारे पास इसको कहा जाता है सोलर इक्लिप्स नाउ कम टू द लूनर इक्लिप्स अर्थ कम बिटवीन द सन एंड द मून एंड कार्ड इट शेडो ऑन द मून ड्यू टू विच द मून इज नॉट सीन कम्प्लीटली और पार्शली फ्रॉम द अर्थ नाउ इन द लूनर इक्लिप्स द अर्थ कम between the sun and the moon and because of coming in between the moon can't get the light from the sun so iski wajah se hamare paas jo moon hai wo phir hame nazar nahi aata now come to the next one that is about the continents so how many continents we have in this world let us discuss this the area of the earth surface is about 5 10 million square kilometer out of which about 29 is comprised of the land and 71 is covered with water hamare paas jo duniya hai ye 5 10 million square kilometer as i have told you in the uh, first topic so 5 10 square kilometer per है जिसमें 29 परसेंट हमारे पास जो है वो लैंड मासेस है लाइक एक जमीन का टुकड़ा है एंड 71 परसेंट इज कवर्ड विद वाटर एज यू नो दिस ऑलरेडी सो द कॉन्टिनेंट द लैंड पोर्शन इज कंप्राइड ऑफ द सेवन लार्ज मासेस विच इज कॉल्ड कॉन्टिनेंट्स एक बहुत बहुत बड़े बड़े एरियाज में हमारे पास जमीन के मुख्तलिफ टुकड़े हैं जो कि कुछ प्लेट्स के टेक्टोनिक प्लेट्स की वजह से हमारे पास लैंड मासेस बने हैं these are called the continents so we have asia first is asia 
इट इज द लार्जेस्ट कॉन्टिनेंट ये हमारे पास सबसे बड़ा कॉन्टिनेंट है एंड पाकिस्तान इज ऑल्सो इन एशिया सो द एरिया विच वी लिव इन दिस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द एशिया कॉन्टिनेंट then africa is the second largest continent in its east lies the indian ocean in the west is the atlantic ocean then north america is the third largest continent of the world south america is the fourth largest antarctica it is the fifth largest continent it is it is situated around the south pole due to its extreme cold climate it is only it is the only uninhabited continent Antarctica is called the inhabitant continent because क्योंकि ये बहुत ज़्यादा ठंडा है सारा का सारा continent जो है वो बर्फ से बना हुआ है that's why there is no life exist. Then come to the next one. Next one is Europe. It is the sixth largest continent. Then Australia is the smallest continent. Then come to the ocean. Oceans means like as I've told you that 71 percent of the earth surface is covered with water. So a huge mass of the water is called ocean. There are five ocean in the world which are Pacific Ocean. It is the largest ocean of the world. World. Then Atlantic is the second largest ocean. Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean. Then we have Southern Ocean and Northern Ocean. Hope you all understand this chapter, which is about the Earth as a planet. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.